All right, hi guys. So today we're making some rundown and we're using salt mackerel. So this is gonna be my salt mackerel rundown Jamaican style. hi guys welcome back to another cooking video if you're new here hi thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and to my returning subscribers thank you for coming back and also like the video share the video and keep on watching so you can see that i throw off that water and I'm just going to add some fresh water to the pot and put that to boil for about 20 to half an hour, 20 to 30 minutes. And that is it right there being boiled. Um, it's cooked. I want it to get cooked. And I soaked it previously just because I want to get sure that I get out most of the salt i don't want this rundown to be too salty all right so right here now these are all the vegetables that kind of stuff powdered seasoning that i'll be adding to this rundown and right there is the salted mackerel or now a little bit fresh mackerel that um was boiled and I put it in a container. So those right there are the coconut milk that I'm going to be using that liquid one in the can and that cream one in that little small pouch. And you're going to see how I'm going to go about doing that. I have a couple bell pepper, orange and yellow, a tomato escalion and that kind of stuff. So right now we have the creamed hard block form of coconut. And I'm not using all of that. I'm just going to cut it down in like about a half. It was a little bit, the plastic is, is a little bit thick. So, and then I'm just going to put this in my skillet and throw some hot water over it. And it will slowly dissolve. To help it dissolve, also you can turn your stove onto medium heat. And it will also aid in the dissolving process. So you see right there the hot water that added to it. It's making it soft. It's becoming a little bit, you know, soft and that kind of stuff. So I've opened the can of coconut milk now and I'm just going to add that to it. And I'm just going to, again, leave this on that medium heat and let that simmer for a bit. Right there is some margarine, and that's a margarine that has olive oil in it. And that's a big, I would say a big tablespoon of margarine, some pimento seeds. And I'm just going to add that ginger, um, garlic, and a little bit of a scallion pieces to this mixture and let it simmer. So while that is being done, I've gone ahead and prepared the vegetables, tomato, scallion, um, the th additional thyme, onion, and the sweet peppers. And to add a little flavor to my coconut mixture, I'm adding this fish powdered, powdered um, seasoning. If you had garlic powder or onion powder, you could also add both so right here now i'm gonna go ahead and start preparing the mackerel this is where you'll need to use your hand your hand is gonna get a little bit messy a little bit sticky and that kind of stuff and for me when i'm preparing mackerel mackerel whether it be rundown style or regular cook-up style i always like to take off the head and much well pretty much all the bone debone it to the core and the skin, the top surface of the mackerel, the black part of the mackerel, I tend to take a little sharp knife or something and just take it off. I don't really like that on it when I'm eating. So that's the middle bone, part of the middle bone of the mackerel. And I'm still taking out. So basically, you're just going to take your time. 
use your fingers if you want to put on a glove that's even better and that's it so for this now as i said i'm just going to scrape off the top surface that those little black part of the mackerel and i'm not gonna be um breaking the these pieces into you know so small of a piece i'm just gonna do the medium size i want that when i'm eating this dish i can my fork can take up literally take up the mackerel and that's how i like to do it so these are about the size pieces that i was talking about how i would break them apart and that's it so my coconut mixture should be subside you want to have that boiled down get to a thicker consistency like this right here and you don't want it to be dried or to you know cook down too much because you have not yet added the mackerel and all the other things to it and you want you want to have enough liquid mixture so that when you add everything together everything comes everything adds to the mackerel and you will still have liquid to for your dish if you understand i probably did not explain that properly but you'll get the drift so this is it right there it's at a good amount of liquid that i want i'm just gonna let this simmer it's gonna thicken up a little bit because the longer you cook it it's gonna thicken the process but you don't want it too thick that when you're eating you don't have would say any gravy to eat with your bananas or dumpling or whatever you're having this dish with so i've added some bottle hot pepper right there and some ground black pepper and if you have regular pepper you could add it before at this or at this stage you could use a whole one if you want a real hot and you know your peppers are hot you could slice it and add it that way i was out of pepper okay, um and let this simmer again for another say maybe five minutes and this is what my mackerel rundown is looking like so you can see right there that the liquid is thick it's bubbling it looks delicious and yeah this is my version of mackerel rundown i have this with boiled banana ground provision pretty much and yeah give it a try and you will like it um as i said please like share and subscribe the video and stay tuned for other amazing content bye